Chapter 14 Forest and Wildlife We will learn about what a forest is, kinds of forests, importance of forests, conservation of forests, wildlife in India. What a forest is? A forest refers to a large area of land covered with trees. It is a vital natural resource. It keeps a key place in our lives. We are very much dependent upon the forest. They form a very crucial part of the ecosystem. 30% of the world's land is covered with forest. In India, there are mainly four kinds of forest. Let us know about them. Kinds of forest Evergreen forest Evergreen forest are also called the tropical evergreen forest. They are very common in areas which receive heavy rainfall. The trees in these forests remain green across the year. The trees found here are tall. They have large branches of broad trees. Rosewood, mahogany and ebony are common trees found in evergreen forest. In India, they are scattered on the western slope of the western Ghats, Kerala and Karnataka and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Bamboo and reed are also found here. Bamboo is used to make paper and build houses. Knowledge Hunter Over 25% of the medicines that we use originate from the rainforest plants. Thorn Forests They have mainly thorny trees and scrubs because of scanty rainfall and they need little amount of water. They have no leaves and their stem is glossy. Kikar and babool grow here in plenty. Kikar is a small tree that grows to a height of only 7 meters, while babool grows up to a height of 14 meters. It yields a gum called babool gum. In India, they are mostly located in Great Indian Desert, Rajasthan and in parts of MP and UP. Mountain or Himalayan Forest they grow on the highest slopes of the Himalayas. They are also called coniferous forest. The coniferous forests have a specialty as they are tall, having thick bark, their leaves are pointed and they are narrow. Spruce, deuter pine are common trees here. Sap of the pine called resin is used for making paint. While the trees that grow on lower Himalayan slopes have broad leaves, oak, chestnut, birch, and cherry are common here. The wood of these trees is soft and is used for making furniture. A wide range of orchids, bamboo and creepers also grow here. Dry evergreen forests are found in the Shivalik hills and the foothills of the Himalayas. Pomegranate, olive and oleander commonly grow here. Deciduous Forest they can be seen along the wet parts of the western Ghats and on the Himalayan foothills. They are also known as monsoon forests. The trees that grow here are tall and straight. They shed their leaves in dry season. However, not all the trees shed their leaves at the same time. Teak, sal, sandalwood and shisham are the common trees of these forests. Teak grows in the western part of the Deccan Plateau in Karnataka and Maharashtra, while the sal trees grow in plenty in northern India. There is one more type of deciduous forest, tidal or mangrove forests. Mangroves refer to trees and shrubs that grow well in saline, coastal habitats. Thereby, they protect the coast from erosion. They can be seen in the deltas of river, Ganga, Mahanadi and Yamuna. The Sundarbans in West Bengal along the Ganga Delta is the largest tidal forest across the globe. Gorjan and Lintel are the commonly grown trees in these forests. Importance of Forest Forests play an essential role in our lives. They have great importance to all living beings. Let us know about their importance. They are home to millions of animals. They help in controlling climate. They bring rainfall and control soil erosion. They maintain the ecological balance. Green plants convert sunlight into food and become the key source of food for all living beings. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen which all living beings breathe in. 
forest soil soaks up the rainwater and makes groundwater available. The livelihood of many people depends on forests. We get timber, firewood, lac, resin, gum, leaves, paper, medicines and grasses from forest. Forest maintain the water cycle of the environment. Conservation of forest We all know that the forests are vital for our survival. Hence, there is an urgent need to protect them from being cut by the human beings to fulfill his needs of creating more living space and other facilities as the human population is ever rising. This has caused a rapid decline of forest cover in India and many other countries. So, we should take these steps to conserve the forests. We should cut trees only when it is necessary. We should plant maximum trees. The grass which has been eaten up by grazing animals must be replaced immediately so that the soil is not left uncovered. This will prevent soil erosion. We should minimize our dependence on forest products. Every effort should be made to make the people aware about the disadvantages of cutting off trees. People must be taught about different ways of planting trees. Knowledge Hunter One Mahotsav is a tree plantation festival which was begun by a famous environmentalist, Shri K. M. Munshi, in 1950. It is celebrated in the first week of July every year. Thousands of people take part in this festival and plant lakhs of trees every year. Chipko Movement in the early 1970s, some greedy timber contractors went to cut trees in the Terai forest of Gadwal in Uttarakhand. Some women from the local village reached on the spot and embraced the trees. They did not allow them to cut the trees. This movement was called Chipko Movement, which means Hug the Trees. Sundar Lal Bahuguna, Gora Devi and Chandi Prasad Bhatt are famous leaders of this movement. Sundar Lal Bahuguna gave the slogan, Ecology is Permanent Economy. Wildlife in India In India, we have a diversity of wildlife. It is a hub of a wide range of animals. Elephants, deer, tigers, lions, hippopotamus, cheetah, etc. are found here. We can see the elephants in the hilly areas of Karnataka, Kerala and Odisha. Lions roam freely in the Gir forest of Gujarat. Tigers are found in the Sundarbans. Cheetahs are native to the Deccan Plateau. The Indian government has set up the following national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in the country. Ranthambore National Park and Sariska Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan. Periyar Tiger Reserve in Kerala. Kaziranga Rhino Project and Manas National Park in Assam. Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand. Gir Forest National Park in Gujarat. Kanha National Park and Kanha Tiger Reserve in MP. Dudhwa National Park in UP. Dachikam National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary in Jammu and Kashmir. Rajaji National Park in Uttarakhand. Pench National Park in MP. Key words Forest, a large area of land covered with trees. Scanty, too small in amount or size. Saline, containing salt. Originate, come from. Coniferous, cone-bearing. Vital, essential or necessary. I should remember. A forest refers to a large area of land covered with trees. Forest is a vital natural resource. In India, there are mainly four kinds of forests. Evergreen forests are also called the tropical evergreen forests. Mountain forests are also called coniferous forests. Deciduous forests are also called monsoon forests. Mangroves can be seen in the deltas of river Ganga, Mahanadi and Yamuna. We need to conserve the forest. One Mahotsav is a festival related to tree plantation. Chipko movement was started by Sundar Lal Bahuguna. 
the Indian government has set up national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in almost every part of India. There are 106 national parks and 565 wildlife sanctuaries in India.